the pts notes are live that's right and so the pts is going to start here in just a few days and they have released what is going to be tested and coming down the pipeline for season 10 and if you're ready i am let's go Acrabuzz, Arcabuzz, Arcabuzz, Brazos. I don't know. What language is that? Okay, so one piece gives you 10% skill haste. Two pieces equipped gives you one skill tier. That's badass. By gaining a skill tier allows you to do what? Add armor, which is going to help your armor regen if you're running a memento backpack. That's huge. I don't know if there's a reason to run three pieces, 20% ammo capacity. I mean, it's not the ammo capacity is not the worst thing. Okay, let's look at this other one. Umbra initiative gear set. So two pieces equipped to give 15% crit chance. Not having to put on crit chance means that makes more slots for crit damage. So anyways, that's cool. I like that crit chance. And I think this will be a really good set for assault rifles because assault rifles have a really hard time with crit chance they take out they require a lot of slots to get your crits on assault rifle builds three pieces equipped gives you 30 percent reload speed I, I mean i like that it's not as good as fast hands but 30 percent reload speed is nice so four pieces equipped give you access to the two unique talents so there's a lot of details here from the shadow so it's basically in cover and out of cover that's the difference between the first part and the second part so while in cover while out of cover so from the shadows you're playing from cover okay so while in cover gain 10 stacks per second up to 50 so that's five seconds right five seconds in cover you're gonna be at max so each stack will give one percent critical damage increase and half a percent rpm so you stack when you're in cover but it's not effective until you get out of cover so it's basically saying get in cover build your stacks get out of cover use your stacks one percent critical damage and we got 50 stacks so that's 50 percent critical hit damage now here's the better part half a percent rpm per stack so half per, half a percent and you got 50 stacks that's 25 percent rpm i'm into that that's 10 percent more than striker buff does not apply while shooting from cover so you got to get out of cover in order to use it while out of cover you lose four stacks per second at normal speed and when and two stacks per second if you're running so you want to run and gun into the light uh, while out of cover and in combat gain 10 stacks per second up to 50 each stack will give you half a percent armor regen when it's consumed so this is nice 10 stacks per second so it's five percent armor regen per second as long as you have full stacks so it only takes five seconds to get the full stacks so who can run and gun and heroic content for five seconds that's a question right i'm raise your hand can you run and gun in heroic content for five seconds if you can you're going to be having five percent armor regen per second when you get back into cover this is doing is it's like we're going to give you half a half a percent armor regen per second five by five that's 25 percent armor back chest and backpack bonuses let's take a look at that chest 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 so uh increase stack from 50 to 100 wow and gain 20 oh i don't know i don't see that one making it into the light <laughs> no pun intended but yeah it was it was intended that pun this is what i see i see another i see another heartbreaker gear set here rpms is king in this game we talk about that all the time we just talked about 25 percent rpm now if you run the chest what do you get 50 percent rpm are you kidding me and you're gaining those rpms at twice the rate 100 crit hit damage 50 percent rpm off the chest piece i can't think of a better chest piece than that maybe they're giving us a set that makes us feel godly out of cover because we're gonna go into manny national zoo that has a lot of ground to cover you gotta run from a to b so backpack increase stacks from 50 to 100 so the backpack is armor regen so you got 20 stacks per second while on cover 20 stacks is 10 percent. so 10 times 5 is 50 percent. yep that sounds right let's get into new weapons and talents that's that'll be an interesting set how it plays out time will tell is it overpowered will it be nerfed we'll see let's talk exotics dr home exotic variation of the m1a cqb they say q sub q cb has it always been q sub and i'm just now realizing it <laughs> somebody where am i what planet am i on okay shooting an enemy with dr home applies a mark okay so mark so think think negotiators when killed mark target drops a 15 percent armor repair kit the kit doesn't give bonus armor only the weapon owner can see that's weird that they say that the kit doesn't give bonus armor the, only the weapon owner can see the armor repair kit okay okay so your your allies can't grab it once the player picks the armor kit all party members receive the heal that's absolutely amazing think about a killer medic okay a killer medic for your team a medic that has amazing time to kill and can heal your team at the same time with minimum skill tiers a dps healer a guy that can kill and just by picking up 
he heals the entire team by 15%. It's like preservation, except you got to go grab the trophy. The difference is, is like, this is healing your whole team. So let's talk about the bloody knuckles. So we've been saying that we need gloves and here we go. They're delivered. Okay. So throwing a grenade, there's the word throwing. So clue into that. So throwing a grenade or striking an enemy with a melee attack activates the scene red buff. Okay. So seeing red grants 25% weapon damage and 100% melee damage. So this is what's interesting for me here is that, so you have to melee to then get your 100% melee damage. So that first melee is going to be weak. The melee damage isn't that strong. Like 100% our melee damage is really weak. So 100% melee damage is helpful, for, in my opinion, uh, basically on an enemy that's almost dead. So seeing red lasts 20 seconds and has 60 second cooldown. So while in cooldown, striking an enemy with a melee attack or hitting an enemy with a side effect of a grenade will complete the cooldown instantly. So this my bloody knuckles might be a, a PVP thing because in PVP, you guys are using grenades all the time, right? And now I wanted you to notice it says throwing a grenade. So using demolitionist, you can't bypass it. It doesn't look like you can whip out a uh, the grenade launcher. And in order to cut the cooldown, you actually got to land that grenade. But to activate it the first time, time you just have to throw a grenade busy little b exotic pistol inspired by lightning rod so each shot to a different target increases weapon damage if player keeps shooting it at different targets so each shot to a different target increases weapon damage if a player keeps shooting at different targets each shot increases 10 percent to a maximum of 200 percent players have five seconds to shoot between each target until they lose the stacks and must do it again you have to have multiple targets and you have to teeter totter your shot five seconds is nothing guys it's you you're literally gonna have to go shot to you 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 playing like that isn't that effective but it can be a little bit of a negotiator's dilemma thing coming on here because every time you do that you're increasing that damage so it's kind of like in a negotiator's dilemma effect although the damage isn't happening to both targets at the same exact time what you're doing is you're spreading an average damage between multiple targets because it's forcing you to hit multiple targets constantly this isn't tag two targets and then focus on one of them you have to constantly be shooting at multiple targets targets in order for this thing to work that's difficult players have five seconds to shoot between each target until they lose all the stacks and start over so you literally have to go one two one two one two three one two three and those gonna be like aerobics i see why they caught the busy little b so when the time is over or the player shoots the same target they will gain an extra five percent damage for each stack they were able to get on the next shot our max potential is now at 300 percent the stacks will remain even if the user changes weapons that's kind of cool let's just walk the scenario back let's pretend we got max stacks right so max x is 20 so we're gonna be at 200 total damage so we, we had two guys we went teeter totter teeter totter teeter totter teeter totter the timer's over we shoot the same target on accident whatever we got max stacks so now we're able to get an extra five percent damage for each stack so five times 20 is 100 percent. so we're at 300 percent. that means we can put our pistol away come back to it we're gonna have 300 percent weapon damage off the first bullet and then it's gonna clear and then we can go to work our way back up to that again new weapons lefty acs 12 shotgun the talent is perfect sledgehammer dealing 10 percent damage with the grenade applies a mark on a target targets with marks take 40 percent more damage to armor and they're slower it does say dealing damage so this is not just tossing a grenade. you got to land that grenade so it says dealing damage so this this means that the grenade launcher might work for this which means this could be good for a tip of spear build and then that would be pretty impressive to get 40 percent more damage on a tip of spear build that's already giving you a shit ton more damage i i hope we talk them out of this grenades and they rework that or make our grenade tossing better damn one a is basically the same thing so this is so calm if you are in the pvp side of things this could be a game changer because you guys are constantly throwing grenades all right sledgehammer dealing damage with the grenade applies a mark on a target it's the same thing just it's 30 percent weapon damage so non-perfect version and less movement speed instead 10 percent is five percent uh, and you got 10 seconds timer on that so the perfect versions have no timers so yeah that's the difference between a perfect and non-perfect one of them is the movement speed the damage and the timer that's all folks follow me